So I've been in the greenhouse all day today. I thought I'd just quickly show you what we've got growing in here. So basically this is a seedling update for February. I've got a few bits and pieces in the polytunnel on the allotment, but basically they're just all the successions of the same things that I've got here. So up on the top shelf there, we've got red ruble kale, parsley, uh, what's left of the field beans that I've got planted out outside. So I'll show you those because the ones outside look so much nicer. Uh, and then here we've got all of the shallots. So the golden globe and the red sun, I think are the two varieties and they're not broken surface yet. There's plenty of roots growing on those. And yeah, so they're looking pretty good. And then up here, we've got lettuces all the way along here, just waiting to be planted out really. And then down here, we've got all of the salad onions that are waiting to go out uh, in probably about two or three weeks time. These salad onions are all varieties that can be left to grow on though, uh, to uh, bulb up and uh, be harvested as early main crop onions. So. Uh, so it's nice really to have that flexibility. And then down here, I've got my test sowings of all of my main crop onions. And the carmen have come up really nicely. The red baron are just starting to show some sign of germination. And somewhere or other, I can't remember where they are, but I've got my shallots as well. And they're just starting to come through as well. So. I'm about to do my main crop sowing. Um, I like to do it on Valentine's Day. And, uh, you know, there's nothing special about the middle of February. You could do it a little bit earlier, a little bit later, and it'd be fine. But main crop onions, I always think, do best sown in February. And then I've got my first early uh, tomatoes. So they're red profusion. They're coming on okay. And I've got my next batch of brassicas. I won't go through the details of those. You can look down below for the details of everything that I'm sowing. I've got my first batch of potatoes and they've just broken surface. So uh, I'm quite pleased about that. I've got six in my first batch. I've got another six down there. And I actually start them in these big tubs. So these are a two litre tub. Um, when uh, I'm doing them super early and then when I'm doing them sort of middle early, then uh, second early, I, I do them in these little tubs. These are 11 centimeter pot. Um, and then once I get on to my normal um, main crop sowings, I just do them straight in the tubs that they're gonna grow in or straight into the ground. So here I've got my first uh, succession of celery. So this is the stuff that'll get planted out in the polytunnel. Uh, we'll be eating that in May. And then my peppers, I've just potted them on, which is why they're in the greenhouse. They're actually growing under grow lights uh, in the conservatory right now. And I've got another batch of those over there. And I've still got quite a few lettuces in here. So I've got all of these down here in trays and they're coming on really nicely. We're picking a lot of these at the moment because uh, we don't have a huge amount of lettuce on the allotment. And then I've got all these hanging baskets. So I'll probably clear these hanging baskets this week because they're starting to get a little bit of tip burn on them which uh, does kind of happen when they start to get a bit depleted in nutrition but uh, yeah i mean they're looking looking okay there's a few issues with a few of these lettuces kind of starting to rot a little bit but uh, yeah they're not they're not too bad so uh, that's everything down there then i've got some wild rocket I've got three tubs of wild rocket that grows pretty big. So uh, I haven't planted it too close together and I've got more wild rocket uh, planted on the allotment. And then I've got my next succession of brassicas that are going to get planted out in March. I've got loads of brassicas already planted out on the allotment. I think I've got 15 cauliflowers and 15 calabrese or thereabouts uh, and loads and loads of kales and you know, and loads and loads of cabbages and things like that already out there. Um, these, actually, these are the same peppers as these, um, but I just left them in the, uh, in the greenhouse rather than growing them under grow lights in the conservatory and what a difference it makes. 
I've got a bit more red ruble here. I've got some spare red cabbages. I've got most of my red cabbages now planted out actually, uh, and they're interplanted with um, green spring cabbages and uh, they'll be harvested for spring greens and then the space will be they'll get the red cabbages will have more space to grow on i've got a few spare peas a few spare lettuces and then these are two samples of the strawberries that i'm forcing and uh, they'll undergrow lights inside and they'll come out in here in uh, in march and i think just kind of looking around oh i've got peas so these are peas in two sets of containers. Those over there just haven't uh, got the stakes in yet. But uh, I've got early peas on the allotment as well. I'm just comparing really the rate of growth of these peas, which were started in December, with these peas that were started in January and are in the greenhouse and the ones in low tunnels on the allotment. I just want to see which ones grow best. So that is pretty much it for my seedlings. Uh, not a huge amount going on right now, but uh, still enough to keep me busy. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.